Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got some really interesting bodybuilding updates and the first one is the first physique update from Mohamed Shaban from this entire Arnold Classic prep. So these guys were keeping things under wraps, they didn't want to show anything. Even when he was training, he was always wearing a long sleeve hoodies and stuff like that. And finally we got a physique update and it was posted by Sean Ray. So he did a little posing practice with Sean Ray and Sean Ray posted his photo on his story. I wouldn't be too surprised because this is Sean Ray we're talking about and he posted his photo without Muhammad's permission. I mean, I don't know about that, but anyways, we got this physique update and we can see what kind of body fat percent Muhammad Shaban is bringing to the Arnold Classic because this was a questionable thing and, uh, you know, he's training with uh, Psycho Fitness Lewis, he's training really hard, you can see the videos, like, these guys are pushing things and now, finally, we can see, we got a glimpse of his conditioning because it's not a mandatory pose, it's not like a front double or front double bicep, we can't see exactly what is going on, but we can get a good idea. And so he looks like he is bringing it. He looks like he is finally shredded. I don't think I ever saw this kind of separation, this kind of lines in his chest. I don't think his abs ever looked this tight and actually this, this prominent. And also like the vascularity everywhere. He's always very vascular, but this time around his skin actually looks very tight, very, very thin, so I think he's doing something right, he seems to be bringing like really good conditioning, and again, there is two more weeks until the actual show, so the last two weeks, three weeks of the prep, these guys are gonna get flat, that's probably the time where they're gonna be the flattest, so once he carbs up a little and he lets his body rest and recover, once he refreshes his body, he's gonna look probably just bigger, fuller, rounder, with potentially even harder conditioning. So this is looking promising, this is actually looking very good. For those of you who are not exactly familiar with what he looked like on stage, who are wondering what his conditioning was before, well, take a look. This is Puerto Rico Pro 2021, I believe that year he was top 10 at the Mr. Olympia or somewhere close, something like that, so this guy is one of the top bodybuilders. Now you can see his conditioning here, you know, it wasn't exactly perfect, like it was pretty good, but he was still pretty watery, like I don't think I ever saw this guy completely shredded and just dry. Uh, he has a lot of veins, he's very very vascular, so it kind of gives an impression of hardness, but really conditioning, especially in the back, you can see, like, it could be tighter, you know, in the hamstrings, in the glutes, in the lower back, so he could be more conditioned, that was kind of an issue, because everything else is basically there, like, his legs are massive, his back is also pretty good, it's like, it's wide, it's developed, it's just never really dry enough, never conditioned enough, which is something that might change, this year, and this guy, once again, very, very complete, very, very genetically blessed, you know, he has a lot of good body parts, so if he brings good conditioning, and if he improved a little, especially in the upper body, because his legs were always, like, a really strong body part for him, upper body could have been a little bit bigger to match those legs, but he did say that he improved the upper body, and based on this physique update, it might very well be true, we'll find out in two weeks, you guys tell me what do you think about his conditioning right now at two weeks out. Alright, next up we got another physique update of another guy who is most likely not gonna crack the top 5, but even though he's not exactly in that conversation, even though people are not really mentioning him when they're talking about their top 5, based on these physique updates, He's one of those guys who might surprise, just like Mohamed Shaban, Anton Voyant, right here, we can see his physique update, and I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that this is his best ever, by far, he's actually bringing something new, something we haven't really seen so far. Now, a couple of years ago, maybe like two years ago, not so long ago, he posted that uh, update of his health, like his heart wasn't exactly at the best place, so everybody thought it's probably the end of his career, however it wasn't, he continued competing, but he did things a little bit more safely, he hasn't been pushing things that much in the off season, and when he would prep, he would actually do much lower dosages than before, that's what he said, so I believed what he said, and so I thought if that's the case, 
then he probably won't be able to make progress. Then he's just gonna stagnate best case scenario. But actually, the last time he stepped on stage, Vancouver Pro and whichever show it was next that he actually won, was it Puerto Rico Pro? I'm not sure. Last year he won that show. He actually looked his very best. He brought the best package ever. And this year he improved even more. Take a look at his side chest, wow, <laughs> right, wow, and it's a good pose for him, yeah, but this is looking really freaking impressive, like look at the conditioning, the hardness, he seems to be one of the most conditioned guys doing this show, like this is gonna be more conditioned than Samson Dowd, I'm pretty sure about that, than uh, James Collins said, I don't know about Raphael, but probably more conditioned than him, not more conditioned than Hardy, but like more conditioned than most of the guys in that top 5. I mean, the lighting is very good, but all the other guys are doing the same thing. I mean, uh, Hardy, Samson, Samson is filtering his photos heavily. So it seems like, I, I don't think this photo is filtered though. I think it's a good lighting, but I don't see a filter. So this photo is looking really good, his conditioning is looking really, really tight. Look at the side of the leg, like the skin looks see-through. And also like the chest, very separated, very dry, very hard, shoulders, arms, everything. So this guy is really bringing the absolute best version of Anton Weyant. And I got a question for you guys. Do you think it's possible to actually make progress at this part, at this uh, point in his career, when he's apparently, what he says at least, when he's not taking a lot of stuff in the offseason, he's just doing a little bit when he's prepping and not more than before how is he making progress then just by training hard and eating properly i mean i don't know i don't know at some point actually he said that after he posted that health update everybody was on his back telling him to stop competing to stop doing bodybuilding and he really didn't like that he said that he was just being honest with his fans and everybody attacked him because of that so he regrets being honest and i guess that's why he said that he is going uh, lightly with the gear but i don't know if that's the case i don't know if that's the real truth because he's making progress year after year and this time around he is bringing his uh, best ever anyways it doesn't matter how he got there he looks his absolute best and you guys tell me down below where do you think this guy will play said the Arnold classic can he crack the top five or will he be the first guy out of the top five like top six is that possible against Hakim, Mohamed Shaban, uh, Justin Rodriguez and the others? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next we're gonna talk about some classic physique guys. Can you believe that? Is that real? <laughs> Lately, nobody's talking about classic physique bodybuilders. This entire Arnold Classic prep, there was nothing on Urs Kaletsinski, Ramon Dino or whoever else. These classic physique guys are not doing anything right now. To promote the sport and that's basically your answer to why classic physique guys are being paid less why their prize money is much less than open bodybuilding it's because they are not doing anything to promote the arnold classic like take a look at my videos in the past two three months it's all it's almost everything about open guys classic physique guys are not doing anything at the moment i think this needs to change they need to do something why zur is not posting anything why ramon are they gonna bring something completely different? They're already the weight caps, they competed recently. They will be the same as always, maybe a bit fuller or more dry, stuff like that, but it all depends on the peak week. In the process of prepping, they are gonna look the same, and for some reason they are trying to hide something, or they're just uh, lazy to post content, I don't know. Anyways, we got this physique update from Wesley Wister, one of the few guys who are actually doing something, classic physique guys. And he looks great, he actually looks phenomenal right here. His conditioning is getting better each week and every every year, I have to say. So for the last, I don't know, five years since I've been following this guy, he has always made progress in conditioning on stage. And maybe this time around is gonna be the best ever. It seems like it could be. His side chest is pretty crazy, he has some crazy classic poses. But like in order to win, you know, against uh, these guys that I just mentioned, like... Urs, uh, Brion, or Ramon Dino, and some others, you know, he's gonna have to have different structure, different bone structure, uh, muscular shape, stuff like that, things that you cannot change, so I definitely don't see him winning the Arnold Classic, best case scenario, maybe like top 5, 
if he can do that, that would be awesome. If he brings really good conditioning, I think he's going to be at around top 5 spot. He has some really classic poses in which his physique looks probably the most classic in the world, whatever classic means, but you guys know what I mean. He has that shape in poses that he likes to do uh, that are not really mandatory. The mandatory poses, he has a lot of flaws, a lot of gaps, so that's why he's not doing that well. But when he hits a pose like this, damn, he looks really good. So once again, not likely the winner of Arnold Classic, Classic Physique, but maybe top 5, top 4, who knows. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, for the end of this video, we got a really good physique update of Stefan Matala in his offseason. And damn, he is growing. This boy is growing for sure. And now I can see, you know, the argument that he should go to the open. I can imagine it because he's actually getting pretty massive. I don't know if he has a YouTube channel. I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm really curious how is he training those pecs? I mean, look at that chest. Look at how separated it is. What the hell is this guy doing? Like, I would assume he's training with a lot of squeeze, like uh, Nick Walker. Maybe that's how he got those details, or it could be just genetic, I don't know. Anyways, his chest is looking phenomenal. He's forming a little bit of a guy now, but it's nothing a little surgery can't fix. I don't know what his plans are for his future competitions, but I'm really looking forward to finally seeing this guy fulfill his potential. I mean, his offseason is doing really well. I believe he's going to be improved. On the stage next time he competes i just hope he's going to bring like a really good level of conditioning for once this guy with this shape with this bubbly round insane looking physique with dry dry conditioning yeah that's gonna be a force that's gonna be really hard to stop that could be one of the top guys at the mr olympia at least that's what i think what i see if you guys see it any other way tell me down below in the comment section or whatever is on your mind please comment down below like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this guys please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye